day number one of my 10 day gobbler hunting vacation here. It's the 30th of April. I've got 10 days to do this. Set up on a couple of birds back here in the timber and try and get them to filter out in here into this uh, little inside corner of this field. We've done this before here. I killed one here last year right off the roost. So I watched them come up to the roost last night. So hopefully we'll at least get a look at them. They've been out here in this field. Most of the mornings they got rained on a little bit last night, so hopefully they'll make their way out of the timber and I'll get a shot. I'm just using a three-quarter strut Dave Smith Jake over top of a breeding hen, so who knows? Holy, holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Uh. Uh. I just dropped him. I'm sorry I didn't get it on film. I, uh, oh man, alive. shoot cross country out through all that brush <laughs> and right over here's my gobbler let's go take a look at him yes hell of a bird there yes yes big old beard on him yes Whammo! <laughs> kind of a wet morning. What can I say here, guys? Sorry for the conflab about <laughs> not getting a shot on film. I, uh, I don't like doing that. Um, but I had... I roosted these birds last night and I've been kind of watching them off and on over the last week. I come down here over my lunch hour and sit up top of that hill where my truck's parked right now and I watch them at noon and then I watch them at night. In the last couple mornings I've been watching them in the morning so I've got a pretty good idea what these gobblers are doing down here and I've, um, oh, I've killed, we've killed a bunch of birds off this roost site before, you just got to do it right and, uh, you know, I didn't really realize how close these birds were to me this morning based off of where I was set up and we've killed birds in that very spot multiple times and it typically works during the last season like it is now and um, I set the decoys out at 30 yards I was going to start calling off the roost because I didn't know how far they were in there and I'm glad I didn't because they were like stacked right on top of me and <clears throat> this one flew out of the tree and I was rolling video when he flew in but he landed like literally right in front of me at like, I stepped it off and it's like four yards and where he landed, it's wide open. I was, I was hoping they would come from the south where I've got a bunch of cover, the cover that I had to shoot through. Um, but he landed right there where it was nice and open and he bam, he looked at me and he looked at the decoys and there he was sandwiched in the middle between us and he didn't care for it and he started alarm putting and clucking and and decided he was better off further away but <clears throat> like I didn't make any sudden movements or anything and it hung he hung around here long enough to where I was able to get the shot pulled off through a bunch of nasty stuff but really good bird I'm pretty happy with him even though he's kind of wet and ugly this morning nice cool looking black spurs big old thick heavy beard I'll take it man thanks for thanks for tuning in with us this year it's been a uh, for me it's been a 
kind of a tough season. This is my only bird that I've taken this year, but uh, boy, I'm glad to have him. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you later.